fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Phantom figure of the plains has become a legend throughout the western United States. The record of his stirring deeds has been handed down, not through the written pages of history, but by word of mouth from generation to generation. Wherever the masked rider of justice rode, adventure went with him. And now the danger trail is brought to life once more. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Stretch out the great legs of yours! We must bring my coat to justice! As Silver raced by, we heard the Lone Ranger say that Bart Colt's gang must be captured. In the first scene of our Lone Ranger drama, we see Bart and his men as they ride toward the town of Brown's Crossing. They are following a seldom-used trail after an attack upon the ranch of old Zack Andrews. Bart is speaking. Well... If this scheme works, we're going to make us more money than we ever made before. Yeah. Now, how much cash we get at old Zach's place, Jim? Close to a thousand dollars in gold and folding money, boss. Besides the stock, the rest of the boys run up in the hill. A thousand dollars in cash, a couple of thousand dollars worth of beef critters. That ain't a bad day's work. It sure ain't. But if Dave Sanders does what I figure he'll do, I won't be nothing to what we lay our hands on before the day's over. You think he was fool, Bart? Never seen a fellow was fooled more. And he was mad enough to believe anything. <laughs> you tied up, Dave, the way I told you to? Uh-huh. It won't take him ten minutes to get them ropes off of him. He's probably a high tailing for town right now as fast as a horse can take him there. <laughs> when he gets to town, they tell his brother we're riding the Silver Springs to raid the bank. There's just one thing, boss. Yeah, what's that? Well, Dave was fooled, all right, when Blackie said we was heading for Silver Springs. When you acted as though you was mad at Blackie for talking too much, he was eating it up. But, even though the sheriff is Dave's brother, you can't be sure he's going to believe Dave's story. Why not? Well, boss, you know as well as I do that the folks in this county is beginning to think that maybe Dave is in our gang. <laughs> they ought to. I fixed it to look that way, didn't I? Yeah, but if they think he's one of us, they ain't going to credit anything he says. Jim's right, boss. <laughs> That's where you're both wrong. It just goes to show I'm the boss of this bunch instead of one of you fellas. We don't mean to tell you your business, boss. And suppose you let me do the scheming for this outfit. Oh, sure, boss, sure. You know I've been trying to have the sheriff lose his badge. Yeah. And the sheriff thinks a heap of his brother. Sure he does. Well, things are coming out just the way I planned. Dave will go to town and tell the sheriff his story. You say he overheard his planning to raid the bank at Silver Spring. You'll do that, all right. It's going to look funny to old Zack and his men when he sees we didn't harm Dave none. That's just what I was saying. But here's the point. No matter what other folks think, the sheriff is going to back up his brother. Yeah. He'd be dead sure we're going to Silver Springs. he get a posse together and ride over there as fast as he can. <laughs> Only we won't be there. That's just it. 
soon as the posse leaves town, we're riding in. And cleaning the town out. We're going to get everything there is to get. Hold up the bank, we'll take what we want from the stores and help ourselves to what's in the cafe. We'll get money and food and liquor and all the ammunition we need. <laughs> That'll be a good one. And then you know what's going to happen with the sheriff and Dave? What? Everybody in the county's going to think Dave took the men out of town on purpose so we could hold it up. <laughs> I see, boss. <laughs> and want to kick the sheriff out of office for letting Dave fool him. By golly, I never thought of that. Boss, I got a hand for you. That's the slickest thing yet. And that ain't all. When they throw the sheriff out, most likely they give the badge to that deputy. You mean Lem Moody? That's the fella. Why, that bluffer couldn't catch nobody. He ain't no more of a lawman than a sheep herder. Mm-hmm, I know it. And this is what you've been scheming all the time, boss? Yeah. Then my hat's off to you. From now on, no matter what you say, I'm for it. We about close enough to town now. This should do fine. Whoa, boy. Whoa, 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 Andy Sanders, Dave's brother, was the sheriff of the county. While the outlaws gathered just outside of town, he sat in his office talking to his deputy, Lem Moody. The conversation turned to Dave, and immediately Lem flew into a rage. Well, Andy, for all of me, you can do as you darn please. Now, now, Lem, take it easy. There ain't nothing to get mad about. I'm getting fed up with the way you're always sticking up for Dave. And why shouldn't I stick up for him? Seems to me you forget your share of this county sometimes. What's being sheriff got to do with my brother? Are you deaf that you don't know what folks are saying about him? Now listen here, Lamb. Dave is a good square kid. He wouldn't do nothing crooked for no amount of money. And as long as I am sheriff, I'm going to see that he gets a fair deal. Maybe you won't be sheriff so long then. Uh-huh. I've been hearing talk, too. I've been hearing that you'd sort of like to be wearing my badge. That ain't so, I tell you. Hey, hey, Andy, I got news for you. Andy, listen to what I got to tell you. What's the, what's the matter, Dave? What's bothering you? Zach's place was held up by that ornery low-down crook, Bart Cole. Bart Cole? <laughs> I ain't surprised, none. They shot up Zach and his men, took his cash and most of his cows. Blast him. You don't surprise me, none. I only been wondering why it ain't happened before. What are you getting at, Lem? You're Zach's foreman, ain't you? Sure I am. And what of it? Well, there's been some funny talk about you, Dave. Now look here, Lem. Let talk, Andy. I want to hear what he's got to say. Maybe you want to hear it, maybe you don't. But you're going it just the same. Let's have it. Remember the time Cal Renson's money was stolen, he found your head outside his place? Keep right on talking. And the time Sandy Hawkins saw a fellow with a bunch of rustlers, and the fellow looked like you and rode a pinto horse like yours? Are you saying Dave's an outlaw? Ain't saying nothing. Seems to me you've said a lot. All I am saying is that in the light of them things, it don't surprise me none that everybody out of Zach's place got shot up except you. Lame, if you wasn't a deputy of mine... Don't pay attention to him, Andy. I got something more important to talk about. I bet you have. What is it, Dave? I can tell how I can get Bart Colt and his gang. You mean that? I sure do. Now look here, Andy. You ain't gonna listen to Shut me. Shut up, Lem. I'm handling this. What's it all about, Dave? That outlaw called Blackie let us slip that the gang is riding the Silver Springs. Silver Springs? Yeah. He said it without thinking. When are they riding there? Ought to be on their way right now. Then that's where we're going. I'm tired of the way Bart Colt's been robbing, thieving, and killing... I'm going to get him this time, if it's the last thing I do. You darn fool. You riding over there and Dave say so? That's just what I'm doing. Then you're a bigger blame idiot than I took you for. You're just letting Dave trick you. You're going to find Lamb, out. as long as I'm sheriff, you do as I say. Now get moving. Get Tom and Tex and the Mabley brothers. Get every man in town that can carry a gun. We're riding to Silver Spring. <laughs> The sheriff was not the only one who wanted to capture the Colt gang. The Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, had been on the trail of the outlaws for several days. We see them as they ride toward the hills that separate Brown's Crossing from Silver Springs. 
Hello, lovely. We found the trail of the outlaws at last. Mm, that's all right. They must have their hideout somewhere in these hills. There's no other place that would serve their purpose. Oh. This isn't a trail the ranchers would use. But nevertheless, riders have come this way often. Often enough to kill the grass in spots. You read trail good. Not as well as you, Kimasabi. Look, the trail's fading out. Ground gets plenty hard here. It leads into this dry riverbed. Oh. Maybe we find trail on the other side. Yes, we'll go on. We're bound to pick up the trail again somewhere. Bart Colt and his gang must be captured. You get them, them all right. If they're not captured, Sheriff Sanders will be put out of office. And a deputy will take his place. Uh, Sanders is a good man. But Lamb Moody would be useless against the outlaws. With him in office, they'd have everything their own way. Look, there. What do you say, Tonto? Their trail again. Those are fresh tracks. Oh. Uh, them go south here. Yes. They've turned after following the riverbed and have headed for Silver Springs. Mm, not right. And if Bart Colt's gang is going in that direction, it means only one thing. What's that? They're going to attack the town. Come on, Tonto. We've got to hurry. Get him up, white fella. Perhaps we can get there in time to stop their raid. Come on, Silver! <laughs> Every able-bodied man in Brown's Crossing had responded to the sheriff's call for volunteers. They formed a posse and charged across country to Silver Springs. The sheriff led them into town, stopping at the bank. Boys, I don't see no sign of trouble. Looks like we beat them here. There sure ain't no outlaws in sight. I told you this was a darn fool chase. Hello, sheriff. What brought all you fellas to town? Brought a posse to catch Bart Colt. Bart Colt? He and his gang held up Zack Andrews' place, then went out for here. Hmm, that's a funny thing. Ain't seen hide nor hair of them. It looks blame funny to me, too. There can't be no mistake. Dave heard one of the gang say they was coming. Maybe it was an intended mistake. Sheriff, I'm beginning to think things look queer, too. Now listen to me. Them ain't the only one that's been suspicioning things around here about Dave. There's been a heap of talk all over the county. But you would never listen to it. You've been too doggone stubborn. Why, you... I ain't gonna take that kind of talk. Well, I reckon you've got to. We've been letting you have your own way too long. And that's a fact. All I got to say is this. If you listen, go on... there's a horseman. And he's riding in like he's got a plenty of important news. It's Tex. That's him, all right. Now, what in tarnation oh, is he... Oh, oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh. Uh, Sheriff, something awful's happened. Bart Cole's been to Brown's Crossing. Well, that, well, that can't be so. It is so. I had to hunt up my horse after you left, or I wouldn't have seen him. They come into town just as soon as you and the posse read out of sight. What them coyotes do? Do? There ain't nothing they ain't done. When I slipped out of town, they broke into the bank and the general store and the cafe. There was nobody left to stand them off. Sheriff, it was you and Dave brought us here. Yes, it was you that fixed us so they could do their thieving with us going. And it was Dave said that Bart was coming to Silver Springs. But, boy, listen, listen to me. We've been listening to you too blame long. Maybe you and Dave are both working for Bart Cole. Fellas, we ought to string him up. I'm taking your badge, Andy. You're all through being sheriff. I says to string him up. String him up. Go ahead, boys. I ain't standing your way. There's a good place right outside of town. Come on, what the use of wasting time? Let's finish him off and then ride back home. No, no, don't do it. You're making a mistake. Stand back there. Come here, please. Another outlaw. Take your hands off those men. I'm the law here. You can't do this. I'll help you. You do exactly what I tell you. I'll shoot the first man to move. You got the drop on us now, but we ain't forgetting that white horse. And if we ever catch you... You won't. You're coming with me, Sheriff. Who are you? Why are you helping me out? I'll explain that later. You ready, Dave? You bet I am. Then come on. I'll see you. Get up there. Get up there. Get him. I'll tell him. Come on, boys. Get up. We'll let him get away. Get up there. The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now on with our story. 
Bart Pope gang attacked Zach Andrews' ranch and allowed Dave Sanders, one of Zach's men, to hear them plan a raid on Silver Springs. Dave informed his brother, the sheriff. A posse was organized which rode to Silver Springs. As soon as the sheriff left Brown's Crossing, the outlaws raided the town. When news of the attack reached the posse, they accused the sheriff and Dave of being crooked and would have lynched them had they not been saved by the Lone Ranger. Our second act opens as the masked man, accompanied by Tonto, the sheriff, and Dave, attempts once more to pick up the trail of the outlaws. I know, this is where we lost the trail of the outlaws and picked up the trail of the posse by mistake. Uh-huh. So that's how you come to find us in Silver Springs. You was thinking you was following Bart Cole. Yes. And darn lucky for us, you did. Oh, 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 fella, near, here. They must be. It was in this arroyo where the trail disappeared before. Tonto. Uh-huh. I believe I understand. We crossed the arroyo. That's why we discovered the trail of the posse. But the outlaws must have continued up the arroyo. I'll bet you were right. You can't see marks of the hoofs on this ground. It's been baked by the sun until it's almost as hard as rock. That's all the more reason to believe the outlaws would come this way. Mm. Say, ain't there some smoke in the air? There is smoke. Can you tell where it comes from, Kimosabe? Uh, come from up there. We must be getting close. Oh, 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 oh. There's a hollow up ahead where the ground dips out of sight. Now, I we wonder... We'll go and foot the rest of the way and see if it is the camp of the outlaws. The timber and underbrush will hide us. Oh, you, you take care. Oh, this is a good place for Bart to bring his men out of the way from everything. I lived out here all my life. Never been in this stretch before. Horses are picketed down in that hollow. Uh-huh. Lenny, horse, there. Keep your voices down. We'll get as close to the camp as we can. We might be able to learn something we can use. Come on quietly. Well, the sheriff was right in Liberty Street for Silver Springs. We just sort of wander in the Browns Crossing and help ourselves. <laughs> What are we going to do next, boy? I've been thinking. Yeah? I've been doing a heap of thinking about the Yellow King gold mine south of town. The one owned by them Easterners. Well, that's a mighty rich outfit. Don't come no richer. I hear they've been taking close to 100,000 a year out of that hole in the ground. Mm-hmm. They got their own smelter. Well, what's that got to do with it? They turn the ore into gold, put the bars into their own storehouse. My golly, that's right. Well, I'd forgot about that. Well, ain't that kind of risky? The sheriff rides over that way pretty often to keep an eye on things. And it ain't the sheriff no more, unless I miss my guess. <laughs> but Lem Moody is. Lem Moody? He ain't gonna stir out of town unless he's got a mighty good reason. After what we done to Brown's Cross, and he don't dare. Yeah, that's right. I got rid of Andy. We fixed it so that slow-thinking lamb is sheriff. You think it's safe to ride the mine? Ain't nothing safer. When do we ride? Well, I'll tell you, boys. I believe in fast action. We done a lot of things today. We raided Zach Andrews. We cleaned out the town, so no one's going to be expecting us to do anything else real soon. So I says we ought to get after the Yellow King first thing in the morning. Whatever you say is good enough for us, boss. And that's what we're doing. The mine's about ten miles from here across country. We get started about sunup. If all them dudes get to sleep out in their eyes, we're going to have so much gold that maybe we won't ever have to do any more robbing at all. Did you hear that, Tonto? Mm-hmm. Me here. We'd better get back to our horses. Gosh, if only I was still sheriff. But you ain't, Andy. And the way folks feel about us, maybe you won't ever be again. Andy, do you believe Lem can be persuaded to set a trap for Bart at the mine? Him? Bart Cole's pretty slick. He had Lem sized up right. It'll take a heap to make Lem ride out of town with a posse. And the worst of it is, Bart's been given the law so many false leads that even if Lem wanted to, he couldn't believe any of them. That's going to make it hard. Yeah. But perhaps there's something we can do. What's that? If me and Andy can help you, just say the word. You will be able to help. But the first part of the plan will depend upon Tonto and myself. Me? Me do what you say. <clears throat> we'll find a safe place to camp, and then we'll decide exactly what to do. <clears throat> you do the thinking, friend. And we'll do what you tell us. You've saved our lives. So I reckon me and Andy owes you more than we can find words for. The important thing now is to get our plan worked out. Come on, Get him up, White. Get, get up there. Get, get up there. Get along. Ranger and his companions made their camp in the hills, then completed their plans for the capture of the outlaws. 
That evening, in the cafe at Brown's Crossing, the new sheriff, Lem Moody, was sitting at a table with a group of his friends, discussing Bart Colt's latest raid. Boys, what them outlaws did to this town is a caution. 5,000 from the bank, all the liquor from the cafe, and food and ammunition are plenty from the general store. And it was Dave's trick that made them things happen. You mean the trick Dave played on Andy? Maybe Andy was fooled and maybe he wasn't. I've got my own ideas on that. You think Andy was in on the scheme too? Maybe and maybe not. But I'm telling you fellas one thing for sure. Nobody's going to make a fool out of me that way. Bart Cole's been playing in all kinds of fake leads for us to follow. But now he's going to find that he's up against an hombre that's just as smart as he is. Me, one, get through here. Yeah, what's the engine want? You, you sheriff? Sure, I'm the sheriff. Can't you see my badge? Me got news for you. What kind of news? Me telling you what outlaw do. Who? Oh, Bart Colt's gang? That right. I want to hear this. Go ahead, engine. What are them sidewinders going to do? Them ride to Briggs Ranch. <laughs> Cy Briggs outfit, eh? Uh. And how come you to know so much? Outlaw feller not see me, but me hear what outlaw feller say. Overheard their plans, eh? That right. And you want me to take a posse to Briggs Place and catch them crooks? Uh, you do that? Damn, you aren't going to listen. Don't you go to worry, Tex. I'll handle this. You sure you heard right, Redskin? Me sure. Now, let me see. I could get the boys together and be waiting for Bart when he shows up. Wouldn't be no stun at all to corral his whole bunch. You go, you get outlaw. By thunderation, Lamb, if you're going to let yourself be hornswoggled like Andy... Yes, you hold on. All right, Redskin. Thanks for the tip. I'll take everybody I can get hold of and lay for them coyotes out to the ranch. Mm, that good thing. Me... Oh, no. Look here, Engine. I... Still, Tex. Let the Redskin go. Huh? What in tarnations got into you? You didn't figure I fell for that stunt, did you? But you said sure, you... Sure, I let him think so. No use tipping my hand to one of Bart's men. But I got a scheme. Yeah? I'm going to follow that Engine. And I got a hunch the Redskin will take me just where I want to go. See the sheriff? Mm, me tell him. But sheriff fell and not believe Tonto. Wait. Someone followed you out. I saw him when he hid behind that tree over there. Oh, that sheriff fell. Good. I was afraid that we'd have to allow ourselves to be overheard at the window of the cafe. This is even better. Uh, did you tell Lamb Moody that Bart will attack the Briggs Ranch? Uh, Tonto do that. Did he say he'd send a posse there? Uh. Fool him plenty. Him go to ranch, all right. And there's no danger that Lawman will be near the Yellow King gold mine. Them far away from there. And Bart will be glad to hear that. He knew if he could trick the other sheriff, it'd be easier to trick this one. <laughs> that right. Bart's scheme worked just the way he said it would. Lem will take his posse to the ranch. But at six in the morning, we'll raid the mine while the lawmen are miles in the other direction. <laughs> That plenty funny thing. <laughs> Lem's going back. Oh. He's heard all that he needs to hear. He'd go back to the cafe and tell the men he's learned Bart's real plans. Oh, that what him do. We've played our part, Kimasabi. Now we can only wait until morning. Here, Silver. White fella. We'll return to camp. And Dave will be waiting for us. Oh, them good fella. They're both fine men, Toto. Yep. Huh? <laughs> Let's hope that we can help them. Come on, Get Silver. Up, white fella. The night passed slowly for the group that shared the Lone Ranger's camp. But morning came at last, and with the first light of dawn, they saddled their horses and rode toward the Yellow King Mine. Come on, Silver! Tunnel! Our plan works. This should mean the finish of our cold game. Uh, wonder if Lem will get there with the boys. Well, will hold it. Hold on. Come on, Silver! Silver. <laughs> Laws had started for the Yellow King earlier than the masked man had expected. They charged down upon the mine while the still sleeping men lay at their mercy. The key to the storehouse was taken from the foreman, 
and Colt's men began loading the bars of gold. Come on, get a move on. Let's load the gold and let out for camp. We're doing the best we can, boss. This is sure heavy work. Never seen gold that wasn't heavy. <laughs> No, I never seen gold that wouldn't buy just about anything a man could want. What's that? It's a fellow on a white horse. And men with him. A shooting at us. We gotta get out of here. We can't. They're blocking the only way we can go. Get back in the storehouse. Run for cover. There's only four. Let's rush them. Most likely there's more behind. Do as I tell you. Get in the storehouse. Come on. Hurry up. Please, they stop just beyond gunshot. Fire at them anyway. Maybe we can hit them. Yeah. Same four, fellas. We'll be all right. Any more coming? We're sunk. And there is more coming. Boss, what do we do? Do your own thinking for a change. They've joined up with them first, fellas. And now they're all coming down this way. Oh, well, we ain't got a chance. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to be shot down like a dog. I'm, I'm going to give myself up. Come, here, come back here. I'm giving myself up, I'm telling you. I ain't going to get killed. You're right, coward. <laughs> Surrender or we'll shoot the whole bunch of I give up. Don't shoot him. Me too. Hey, there goes Bart around the back. Hit him. We got him, man. Good. We got the whole shebang. We got Bart and the engine and Dave and Andy. We ain't Mr. One. Clem, maybe you're wrong about something. What's that? Andy and the last fella and the rest of them were holding the outlaws here when we come up. They weren't with Bart at all. That's right, Lem. I've seen it all. And what's the idea? I can explain. The mask, man. Andy and Dave were both honest. It wasn't their fault that they were tricked before. But I But you wouldn't believe them. They were trying to get Andy's job. That ain't so. I wasn't trying. Listen to me. Dave and Andy were with me when we learned the plans of the outlaw. But we knew you'd be too stubborn to believe us if we told you the truth. I reckon none of us would have believed you, stranger. So we tricked you twice. Huh? First, my friend here told you that the outlaws would raid the ranch belonging to Briggs. Then he let you, Lem, follow him and overhear the plan to raid the mine. You mean you see me? We knew you were listening. Lem, he was only half as smart as Andy. He only got fooled that way once. But they tricked you double all in the same evening. Andy, as far as I'm concerned, you're still the sheriff. And I guess we all know now that Dave had nothing to do with the outlaws. Thanks, fellas. But it was the masked men that done it all. If it hadn't been for him, Bart would be raiding yet, and me and Dave would probably have been strung up. Come on, Silver, old boy! There's danger ahead! We're riding against Black Jack Martin. I'll sail just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. (laughs) 